What up, what up, Winbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys that we can now re-import our Cinema 4D files into Unreal Engine. It's not really a live link, but when we make changes in Cinema 4D, we can re-import them in Unreal and everything updates in there. And so without further ado, let's jump right into it. And before we jump into the tutorial, I wanna give a big shout out to Mohamed Pasil and Eric Bowers for bringing this to my attention. Okay, so we have Cinema 4D open and I'm just gonna build a scene in here but if you wanted to follow along, I'm actually gonna be using these assets again from Jama. I'll leave these down in the comments down below. I'll pin it. I'm actually gonna be using these flags from his medieval pack. He actually sent these to me. So make sure you guys give Jama a shout. Show him some support on Gun Road if you like any of his packs here. So I'm gonna get back into Cinema 40. I have a blank scene open. I'm in version R23. What I'm gonna start with, I'm just gonna make like a basic landscape. Maybe let's make this 10,000 centimeters by 10,000 centimeters. And then for my segments here, I do 500 by 500. Hit H on my keyboard to pull back a little bit. Down here where it says borders by sea level, I'm just gonna click on that. And then I could pull this up a little bit in the middle. It's not too important. I just wanted to give myself a ground plane to work with. And so I'm gonna go over to that flag pack that I have from JAMA here. So I already have it imported. These are the FBXs. And let me pick one of the flags here. I like this one here in the back. And these aren't animated, that's why we see so many of them, but these are great if you're doing any type of still renders or anything of that nature. So I'm just gonna select the pieces here. Let me make sure I have all of them selected, which I do. So I'm gonna hit Control X, like that. And then we're gonna come back over to my scene. And then I'm just gonna paste it in here. And I'm gonna actually right click since I have these still selected. I'm gonna come down to Group Object, and I'm just gonna name this one main flag because this is going to be like my hero flag that i'm going to have in the middle here then if i come down here to coordinates i'm actually just going to zero it out on the x y and z like so and then i'm just going to do like a quick setup here i'm not going to get too in depth i just want to show you guys how we can use the re-importer and so i'm just going to do a quick and easy scene i'm actually going to bring in a figure here then i'm just going to bring my landscape down just to match them up a little bit and this flag is extremely too large so Let's cut this in half by like 0.5, something like that. And then we're gonna come up to extensions, drop the floor, which is a free plugin. I'll leave that down in the comments below as well. If you guys wanna get the drop the floor plugin. And then I think that's a decent size right there. And then I wanna put like a crown on here just because I thought that might look a little cool. So I'm gonna come over to windows, come down to the crown pack, which is inside of his medieval pack. So I'm just gonna take this one right here. Just hit copy. Go back to my main scene, just paste it in here. I'm just going to zero out the position, drag it up like so. All right, cool. So I think it's a little bit large. So I'm gonna go 0.1, just drag it over here. And then maybe let's add a little rotation on it so it looks like it's actually hung on these edges here. So something like this. So something like that looks pretty cool. And so we have our scene in here. I'm actually going to delete my figure because I was just using that for reference. So let me pull back a little bit here. Okay, and then I'm going to name this one Crown so I know what this is right here. All right, cool. So we have our basic scene set up. And so from here, I'm just going to make sure that I save everything out so that we can bring it into Unreal Engine. So if I come to my scene here and the shortcut for it is just Control D. And you can see now we have our project tab down here. I'm going to click on Cineware. And then I'm just going to click all of these on. So save polygon cache, animation, and materials. I just click everything on even though this scene isn't animated. And so I should be good to go from here. So from here, I'm going to come up to file, save project as. And then I'm just going to name this one tutorial scene. And if you guys noticed, I didn't save for Cineware. I actually went over this in a tutorial a couple of days ago. So you can check back on that and get the scoop on that. But this is all we basically had to do to save this out for Unreal. Actually, let me double click down here and I'm going to make a material. And I'm just going to make it maybe green, even though it's like a neon colorish green. Basically, I just want this to represent my grass. So if I click on that, now I know that this is my material that's going to represent my grass here and everything. And I should be good now. So I'm just gonna hit Control S. There we go. And now I'm gonna open up Unreal Engine. 
So if I come down, open up my Epic Games Launcher, I'm gonna actually open up the latest version of Unreal, which is version 4.26. And if I look up here in my right hand corner, it says launch. So I'm gonna launch Unreal 4.26 here. And I'm gonna come down here to film television and live events. You can use any of these templates that you want, but I just like using this one. Then I'm gonna start off with a blank slate, click next. Um, yeah, I'll do ray tracing. I'm just gonna leave everything else at default. Click create project. All right, cool. So now we have Unreal Engine open. Down here in the lower right, I'm just gonna dismiss the new plugins, the update on project file, and then I'm just gonna delete some of the stuff in here. So my floor plan, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna delete the sky sphere, and I think the fog too. So I'm just gonna start off with a totally blank scene. And what I'm gonna do from here is go up to settings, come down to plugins, and then just type in C4D. And then that's gonna bring up the Datasmith C4D importer, which I'm going to enable. And then just click yes. It's just letting you know that it's still in beta. And then down here at the bottom, it's gonna say restart now. So I'm gonna click on that, make sure I save everything. It's just gonna restart Unreal Engine real quick, which only takes maybe like a few seconds here. All right, cool. So that didn't take too long. I'm gonna exit out this plugins panel here. And I'm gonna come up here. Now you see in the middle, it says Datasmith. So I'm gonna click on this. And then I'm gonna find the file that I actually saved, my Cinema 4D file. So if I come over here, C4D, this one right here, tutorial underscore scene, I'm gonna click on open. Then I'm just gonna save it inside of my contents folder, which is gonna be down here in my content browser. Click okay. And now we have the Datasmith import options, which I'm just gonna leave everything checked on and click import again. All right, so now we have our scene in here. If I come over to my world outliner, maybe double click on crown, just to kind of push into the scene a little bit. You can see that we have our crown, we have our flag, we have our ground, which is like a really hot neon green. You can see it's saying that lights need to be rebuilt. So I'm actually gonna come over to my light source, just make it movable so that it's not baking, it's actually real time. And there we go. So now we have a scene in here and I don't like this grass. So I'm actually gonna come over to Mega Scans real quick and just replace this. All right, so now I have bridge open, which they actually just updated for version 4.26, which is great. So if I come down here to local, I'm just gonna come down to some grass that I already have saved out. So I'm gonna export this. And if you're not sure how to use bridge, if you come down here to where the gear is at, you just click on this, click on your export settings and make sure that you have your target export for Unreal. Make sure you're using the version number that you currently wanna use in Unreal. And that should be basically it. So I'm gonna click back, I already exported it. So let me actually close this out and then I'm gonna click on my ground plane here and I'm gonna take this material, this grass material, click and drag it here and now it replaced it, but it looks really large. So I'm just gonna do this quick. I'm just gonna double click on this material, come over here and right here where it says tiling and offset, I'm gonna turn this on and then maybe I'll tile the X and the Y by like 40 and then click save. And there we go, looks better. It's a little bit tiling, but I'm not gonna worry about that for this example. Mainly, I just wanna build this scene out so I can show you guys how we can re-import stuff here in Unreal Engine from Cinema 4D. So I'm gonna come over and I'm just gonna make a quick sky here. So I'm gonna bring in Volumetric Clouds, which I actually did a tutorial on this as well. So you might wanna go check that out. And then I'm gonna bring in, let's see, Sky Atmosphere, like that. And then I'm gonna bring in, where is that? Exponential Height Fog, just to kind of blend it in a little bit. So there we go, we have a nice looking scene in here. I'm not gonna get too much in depth with the different settings and everything. Maybe I'll just mess around with this light. Something like, something like that might look cool. And then I'm just gonna come over to build and just build reflection captures like so, just to get rid of that red mark up there. And so now we have our scene from Cinema 40 into Unreal Engine. So let's say that now we wanna add maybe some like extra flags or something into our scene, but we don't wanna go through that process of re-importing everything all over again. And so I can actually work in my basic Cinema 4D file, make the changes there and re-import it inside of Unreal Engine. It's kind of like a live link, but not really, but it's a good first step. So I'm gonna jump back into Cinema 4D and let me actually go over to my flags pack because let's bring in some different flags here. So maybe let's bring in this one that's in the back here. So I'm just gonna make sure I have all this stuff clicked on. Drag this out. Yep, we have everything there. So I'm gonna hit Control X and then we're gonna come over to my scene, tutorial scene. And I'm actually just gonna paste this in. And again, I'm going to right click and make this inside of a group. 
And I'm just going to name this one flag two. There we go. Something like that. Then I'm going to actually bring in a cloner. So I'm going to come down to MoGraph cloner. Let me zero my flag out just so it's in the middle. I'm going to drag this under my cloner. There we go. Something like that looks cool. Maybe let's rotate it. So if I come over to cloner, rotate it like so, and then maybe let's drag these out. And these are a little bit large, so I'm going to cut these in half like how my other flag is. So let's say maybe a row six on each side. Let's just drag these out really, really far. So again, this is just like a rudimentary scene. Nothing too crazy here, but just want to show you guys how we can update this stuff for Unreal Engine. So let's say that we're happy with this flag pack that we have in here now. So I'm actually just going to hit Control S. That's it. Basically just saving out my Cinema 4D file. So now I'm going to open up Unreal Engine. So I'm going to come back over to Unreal. And then I'm going to come down here to my content browser and click on content. And then I'm going to find my file that houses my Cinema 4D project. So that's this one right here, the tutorial underscore scene folder. Double click on that. And then this file right here, it's usually underscore with red. I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to come up to import an asset, re-import. I'm going to click on this. And I mean, basically you can check off everything that you don't want to re-import. So let's say I want to turn off these. I just want to bring in my geometry and my materials. And then down here, the dash mesh screen actors, I'm going to leave that on. And I'm not really sure what this does yet, but I'm just going to leave it off. So I'm going to click import here and there we go. So it looks like everything's back in my scene. So if I come over here to world outliner, let me double click on something just to come in here real quick. And let me see if I can find my main file here or my main flag. So there we go. So it didn't change anything in here at all. It added these flags. You can see the ground plane. We still have the changed out material and everything in here, which is cool. It didn't change out the material from cinema. Like it knew that we made changes inside of Unreal Engine and it left those alone. And so let's say that we want to actually change out some of these flags with different flags. So if I come back over to cinema and let's say I want to change out some of these flags here and bring those over into Unreal as well. So I'm going to come over and I think I'm going to use this flag that we have right here. So I'm just going to actually come over to my pointer rectangular selection. Just going to select all this, make sure I selected everything, which I did. So I'm going to hit control X. Then I'm going to come back over to my scene tutorial underscore scene. Just go ahead and paste that in there. I'm going to right click on here, come down to group object and just name this one flag three. And then I'm going to actually zero this out so we can see it. There we go. And I'm just going to actually bring this underneath my cloner here. So now you see it automatically replaced it in there. If I wanted to add a little bit of variety in here where it says clones, I'm just going to do random. So now it randomized it in there. We have some of the rectangular flags. We have some triangle ones. And then we have our hero flag. So I'm going to go ahead and hit control S just to save my scene. And then I'm going to pop back into Unreal. And so from here, I'm actually going to come down to my content browser. Go to my Cinema 4D folder here. And remember, it's the one that's underscore with red. I'm going to right click on it. Come up to the top where it says re-import. I'm going to click on this. And then I'm going to turn these off again. So lights, cameras, animation. I'm just going to bring in geometry and materials. So I'm going to click import. And there we go. So it should have imported. I actually bookmark where my placement was. So I'm going to go to my placement. And there you go. So we see we have the triangle ones and the rectangular ones in here and it didn't mess up anything on our scene. It just updated our project file for us inside of Unreal Engine, which is something I know a lot of people have been asking me about. So I'm glad that I can finally show you guys one of these updates. So I know I get a lot of requests for people asking me about a live link between Cinema and Unreal. I think this is getting really close. We can actually make changes inside of Cinema 4D and re-import them in Unreal and it just updates in our scene. So if this is something that excites you and that you've been waiting for, leave me a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Leave me a big thumbs up. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Thank you guys again.